Morning, beautiful. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Crew Chief Al is not here this weekend, but he did give us some uh, some tasking for us. So, uh, one of the things that finally arrived this week was the right main gear tire back from the tire shop. And uh, let's look at this a little closer. So here's our current tire, and you can see it's definitely uh, seen some better days, and it's been on here for a while, and it's starting to starting to show a little bit of dry rot. But here's the new one and much much deeper grooves and this is looking pretty good so all right so the boys will be working on that today um he resealed the uh nose gear compensator earlier in the week so i'll be installing that here shortly and uh take care of a few other things while we're at it Uh, roll it. See those other tires over there? Go we'll put it on the, sorry, on the left side. Next to the open one. Roll it out. Alright. Roll it around. Careful of the plugs. So, one thing before we go look at it, put it all on. We have to line up the plug holes. Are. Yeah, they're at the top. So, so rotate it this way a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold it. And then, yeah, you gotta get it all around, and then you start. Yes, it's on. So now we need to rotate it this way and make it just line up. All right, so after having one of those that doesn't quite look right moments, well, it didn't look right. So turns out I needed to move the nut into that orientation, and now that the now the bands are where they need to be, this thing is fully supported and everything is back into its proper place on this nose gear compensator. So now all we got to do is wait for Crew Chief Al to inspect it and sign off on that and we'll leak check it next time we uh, swing the gear and it should be good to go. Alright, tire is back in, bolted on. 
And let's see, there we go. The anti-lock uh, sensor uh, for the brakes is back in place. And uh, it's again, another one of the things that crew chief Al will inspect and we'll safety wire it back down and it should be good to go. All right, doing a little housekeeping and we're gonna vacuum out both cockpits or at least they are. So they get to crawl around while the seats are out and uh, go make sure they're nice and clean and they're gonna wipe it down also. All right, so this battery is 100% topped off. This is being on the high pack. So I'm about to move this over to the tug next. Make sure that battery is 100% topped off. This one just a little bit low. We'll uh, take care of it. Let's see, automatic, normal battery, charge. All right, go ahead and do its thing. We'll come back and uh, check on this uh, next weekend. We'll just let it sit and do its maintaining thing. <laughs> How's it going in here? Yeah, fine detailing. It's going. It sure is. Hey. I'm sure the pilots will appreciate having a very clean cockpit. I'm sure they would. Yeah. All right. Got one of the uh, Sparrow launchers. This is one of the ones in the back. Uh, Got to clean it up before it goes back in. It's looking pretty good. That's a lot better than what it was. Howdy. Zero sensor 20. Nice. Or 22. Alright, speaking of battery maintainers, we've got the 24 volt maintainer over here. Put that on the dash 60. Uh, keep that one topped off. There's a, those ones are a lot more expensive than the ones that go in the tugs. All right, well there's only a couple of us here today. Well, we got some good work done. Got that nose gear compensator on. Uh, boys got the uh, the main gear tire on that just, that just arrived this week. That was awesome. A uh, couple of batteries being maintained and some stuff to get cleaned up in the cockpit. So we're not as much fun stuff going on today. Uh, crew chief Al should be back next week. As long as we got the rest of everything uh, sealed up, then we'll be able to get the uh, hydraulics on it again and do another leak check. So, so thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.